In this episode, we find a really fishy spot. Now, you think with all these really good fish getting around, we'd have no trouble shooting a couple. But we had one big issue. <laughs> well, this is pretty much how the day went. Us trying to get fish past the tax men. We call the sharks around here tax men. And that's because they like to tax your catch or take it and eat it for themselves. Not happy. We still managed to get some great fish, so stick around and see how we went. Beautiful conditions out here today. Absolutely stunning. I lost paper, scissors, rock, so I'm Bodie first. But yeah, hopefully the boys get onto some fish. The sound will look pretty good, so. Hopefully it's a good drift for him. So the boys finished their first drift and the report was, it is really fishy. It was snapper, jobbies, tuskies, kingies, all sorts of good stuff. And a really big bull shark. So I had to try and relax and head down for my first dive. So just knowing that the snapper and jobbies, I'm pretty excited. But a big bull shark on top of that, it's really hard to relax. Visibility wasn't at its best today. It was probably only 10 to 12 meters. So just off in the distance, I can see the snapper. And just in front of them, there's a couple of half decent jobbies. So I'm trying to relax, get down nice and close to the bottom and entice them in. Being my first dive of the day, and to be honest, being a little anxious, uh, I did not have the bottom time to try and shoot one of those snapper. So I shot one of these jobbies that swam in, and yeah, it was actually a pretty terrible shot. I hit it pretty high, and this one ended up coming off. Not the best start to the day. We reset the drift, and now I'm heading down right at the start of the reef. On the sand, up current of the reef, is where you'll find species like jobfish, spangled emperor, maybe even a snapper. Quite often you'll also find species such as kingfish, amberjack, mackerel, but on this drop I'm really hoping for a snapper. So pretty much everything else is pretty safe. There were a couple of kingfish around the 10 kilo mark in the school of Sergios. I wanted to leave these fish because I had Jose up on the surface and I knew he would really appreciate being able to shoot one of these. Unfortunately, no snapper anywhere to be seen, but luckily that shark's gone. Oh, bugger. Well, I guess he's back. By the time we made it over the top of the reef, the shark was back and he was looking for a free feed. Luckily for the shark, Adam had just gone down and uh, prepared a meal for him. We're not going to get fish fast then. Big bully in a whaler. He's, he just lost a fish. Beautiful shot, so almost stoned that jack. And then 
I kept it in nice and close to me because I knew he was around, but I didn't want to push the Yeah. <laughs> and then when no. he got caught, I was like, nah, he's not, he's got, he's fing set on getting the first. Well, against better judgment, we decided to give it another shot. There were some good jacks Adam had seen on the previous drift, so we were hoping to land on that bombing again, shoot a jack, and get it past that shark. As I approach the bottom, I can see off in the distance the big school of jacks. But now it's time for the hard part. I've got to try and shoot one and get it past the bull shark. Good holding shot in this fish, but it's headed straight for the reef. Now, I'm expecting any second for that big bull shark to roar out of nowhere and gobble it up. Now, I'll admit I was pretty anxious at this point, but by some miracle, the shark was nowhere to be seen and I've got my first good fish in the boat. So many jacks. So many. We reset the drift to dive on that same jack school. We wanted to take full advantage of the shark being on his smoko break so we could actually get some fish on board. So, I thought I put a pretty good shot in this fish. It was literally only millimetres away from stoning it. But, unfortunately, yeah, uh, things didn't work out. Tell you right now guys, that is not a good feeling when you're spear fishing. Watching your fish swimming away with the big hole in it. But luckily, Danny to the rescue. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. Did you when I shot it, I was like, so that's definitely me. I didn't, so I didn't think you would have. I thought you were like miles away. No, I was pretty close. Yeah. I thought that must have been the one that I lost. Yeah. Yeah, I blew that one's head off. Like, <laughs> how did you do that? I don't know. I don't know how that came out. It looked pretty good. It's hard though. Like, if you don't, if you don't hurt it. Oh. Like, I'll have to watch the footage. Yeah. I think he got me in some structure. After that bull shark buggered off, we can start to get a few fish. It's super fishy, lots of jacks around. I saw a few nice black spots, so I want to try and pick up one of them. Jose, what you got? Nice one. <laughs> nice one. Good fish. That's black spot. Nice one. <laughs> When it's stinking hot, this is how you cool off. Oh. So freaking hot. Oh God. I mean, better put a roof on this boat. <laughs> oh, that felt like such a long time as Bodie. It was so hot in the sun in your wetsuit. I was boiling. I really do need to get a roof for that boat. But anyway, I'm heading back down. I finally cooled off and I'm looking for another jack.
So I've got a decent holding shot on that jack. And just off in the distance there, one of those bronze whalers swam in pretty quick to try and have a look. But uh, I had the jack in pretty close already, so he didn't try his luck. So I'm pretty happy at this point. I've got two decent jacks in the boat. Good thing too, because uh, guess who just showed up? Unfortunately, Adam wasn't so lucky and uh, lost another fish. <laughs> As you can tell, losing your fish to sharks is not fun. Did you get your fish? Huh? Did you get your fish? Oh, yeah. Not even five minutes later, it was Denny's turn to pay his taxes. Denny had shot a nice job fish and uh, that shark was straight onto it. But, shark took the head, but the tail started floating to the surface. So I thought I'd do Danny a solid, sneak in while the shark wasn't watching, and grab the tail for him. Not much of a tax return, but you just got to take what you can get sometimes. After the boys lost those two fish, this thing did not leave us alone. So we finally gave up on this spot and uh, pretty much called it a day. All in all, it was a pretty tough day's diving, but we still managed to have some fun and get some good fish. In hindsight, it may have been better just to give up earlier and try and find a different spot without a really large shark trying to eat all our fish. Come get us, Jose. If you're enjoying the content, guys, please hit that like button. I've got some really cool dewy and big black spot footage coming up, so if you don't want to miss that, hit that subscribe button too. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.